Hello everybody, it's Kalem, and happy Easter to everybody who celebrates it. And because today is Easter, I decided to do a special Easter themed episode, which is of course an egg hunt, which is totally not inspired by Stardew Valley at all. Nope, I have no idea what you're talking about. So let's get started with a demonstration and let's just hop right in. All right. Yeah, and this is a very, very bad recreation of part of the starting map. But see, I'm gonna walk up here, walk up here, and I go talk to this person. Egg good, yes. No, egg bad. Egg sad. I did this. <laughs> I wrote all the dialogue really late at night, and I thought I was the funniest person on the planet like sleepy me does not know what that but here we go a good yes yes egg start all come egg start and eggs you go most egg by time done win big all right so i have 15 seconds to collect the eggs oh, i saw that one down in the corner so i'm gonna run and grab that and you can see the little barricades popped up Stop you from leaving town if those were transfer events. Can I can make it. I have no idea how many eggs I've collected. Come on, final egg. I got it. Woo! I think. Diamond. Let's see who won. Caleb won. I won. Yay! And happiness is my reward. Woo! And then, Nancy, the, the barricades disappeared, and you're free to walk as you please. Alright, let's do one where I lose. So I'm just basically going to be sitting here for 15 seconds. Um, yeah, it's an egg hunt. You'll notice this time too the eggs are in different places. That's because they're I have it set for three different full different possible versions of the egg hunt, so it's not the same every time. Well that's broken. Hold on. I guess we're diving into the events now. Here we go. I didn't do one if A equals zero. That's on me. Okay. Uh-huh. I need to do... Sorry, this event is very long and complicated. Okay. Okay, so yeah. Need to here. And do if egg equals zero. Yeah. Then they would win no matter what. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Is that oh I I see the problem here. I needed to do this way. Oh, that was a gunshot. That's fun. I don't know if my microphone picked that up. There might be fireworks, honestly. Who knows? <laughs> but, okay. That should have fixed it right there. Okay. So I'll read do it at the end, but for now let me run you through the event. So to start, here's my player. I give her a little funny ears and tail for Easter, because I have too much free time, but also never enough, because, you know, that makes sense. So this is the start event. You walk up to the old person, and they ask, uh, egg good yes, and if you say yes, uh, you start the event. 
you save where the character is at. The event says, yep, this starts and it transfers the player to here and turns on the hunter event, which makes these guys appear. I have three other hunters aside from the player. You can add in as many or as little as you like. Just know that the more you add in, the more lines of code you're going to have to have. Anyways, it turns hunter on and then it control A switches to here, which is a parallel event. I tried it with auto run, it did not work. All right, so it fades the screen in and it sets a random number one through three. That is the number that decides which egg hunt you're going to be on. There's three, two, and one. Now I have each of the eggs for each event set to a very specific color for testing purposes. So you can see exactly what's going on and everything. Uh, but when you do it, feel free to make the eggs as many different colors as you like. So now that happens and I have it set. So if that number equals this, you turn on one of those switches and those eggs appear. And then the event begins, tells you to go look, turn on a cunt, start the timer, turn off this self switch and turn on this one. And then this only happens if you interact with them during the hunt, so not that big of a deal. These guys, this one, they're fixed, they're not moving anywhere. This, a cunt, I have it set to random. You could have them set to run very specific paths. It's completely up to you. I just have it on random for funsies. And then this is for the end, which I will come back to. All right, so this event right here is parallel. And once the egg hunt starts, it will, goodness, sorry. It will test to see if the timer is less than zero. So the timer ends. And then it'll turn hunter off and total on, which stops these guys from moving because they're fixed. And I think it turns a no, that's in the next one. In this, it is very important that you keep this section as small as possible because it's looping through it continuously. And if you have a bunch of stuff for it to do here, it slows the game down tremendously. All right, so then we go to this long and complicated event. So it brings the player back to where they started, not where they talked to the old person, but back to where they started the egg hunt. And then it sets all the hunters back to their proper position, fades in the screen. Let's see who wins. Then it sets a random variable for each of the hunters to be the amount of eggs they gathered. I currently have six eggs that the player can possibly get. And the most eggs that any of the hunters can get is five. So if the player gets all six eggs, they win no matter what. So that's what you see right here. Egg equals six, they win. All right, now we have if the egg equals five, which every time you touch, here, I'll show you that actually. Every time you touch an egg, it brings the egg count up to one and then erases the event. You do not want to self switch here because if you want to be able to run the event over and over and over again, you need to have it erase it instead of self switch. Because if it self switches, it'll be stuck on that self switch and it will never play this again, but the erase one just temporarily removes it from rotation. I don't know why I keep saving in Paranoid. <laughs> right here. And here it shows if the hunter is less than or equal to four, the player wins because they had five. It doesn't matter. But if they are higher than five, the player loses. It doesn't matter which one of them won. You could have it set in here to go through each individual hunter and decide which one of them won if you would like. I just didn't do it because it would be a lot and a pain in the butt. And then, yeah, it just goes through decreasing each time. And then it's the same thing over and over, copy and pasted. I didn't know if I actually dragged something there, so I did that, just fix it. All right, and then at the very end, it turns all the switches off, control turns this one off, so it returns to this one, but since egg hunt is off, it does nothing. And then it teleports the player to this location, wherever this saved. And yeah, that's the entire event. Pretty basic. Well, I say that. 
it's pretty not as convoluted as some of the other ones I've done, but I thought it was a nifty little cute event. And so yeah, that's all I got for you today. A uh, happy Easter to everyone who practices it, celebrates it. I don't know the proper terminology for Easter. Hmm. Well, anyways, uh, to everyone who doesn't, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday, and I will see you all soon. Bye! -bye.